So my name is Audrey Baker. I go to the Arts and College Preparatory Academy, and I wrote the play Choose Your Own Play. Good heavens, Cedric's been shot! The title of my play is kind of the synopsis of the play. It's essentially a play where the playwright or the creator in the story is telling uh, their own story, but they're also using audience participation to uh, create the plot points. And so it's a choose your own adventure kind of play. A huge misconception in the musical theater community is that plays are more boring, I guess, which I completely disagree with. But I wanted to create a play that would engage the audience and try to like keep them not from, from being bored. And so, yeah, I, I wanted to write this play out of just wanting to keep the audience engaged. Frozen. Whoopsies. <laughs> watch the watch the play and watch out for the ending because that's what I think is the takeaway. Well, hello, audience. I am the creator. Sorry, not that creator. I'm the creator of the play you're about to watch. <laughs> now, I'm still in the process of writing it, <laughs> but I've got this really solid idea for a murder mystery, and I'd love to incorporate your ideas, too. You see, what I want you, what I want you to create is a, a, a play that, that is really tailored to its audience. I want to include, I want to make my, sure my plot points include your preferences as well. And more than anything, I want it to be a play that everyone can enjoy. Towards the back of your program, you'll find two papers. One featuring a tragedy theatrical mask, and one featuring a comedy theatrical mask. <laughs> These will serve as your balance to vote what happened next in the script. The tragic mask stands for something tragic, and the comedy mask stands for something comedic. And it's shocking, I know. <laughs> now, whichever mask receives the majority of the votes will determine what happens next in the lives of our characters. Yes, just, just hold up the mask of your choice when I direct you to do so. And for my virtual viewers, there you are. <laughs> you will be presented with a screen prompt to click on. And this link will direct you to the plot point of your preference. Now, there are no wrong answers. <laughs> and none of the choices you make tonight will be held against you. The important thing is that everybody gets to have a say. Now, are there any questions? Yeah, Ashley. Uh, great. We shall begin. The story begins on a dark and stormy night in London. Cedric, the man of the house, paces in the corner, waiting for his guests to arrive. Tonight is his third annual dinner party, and he's rather excited. Or at least, that's what he's trying to convince himself. As nerves and excitement induce similar symptoms. And tonight, he has a lot to be nervous about. His wife, Roseanne, lounges on the couch doing what she does best, drinking, looking posh, and drinking. Darling, the guests should be <laughs> here at any moment. Don't you think they'd enjoy a drink, too? <laughs> oh, yes, dear. Two drinks sound lovely. Oh. Uh, Samuel, fetch us two more drinks, please, and uh, make his a double. Oh, ahead. Make mine a double, too. I'm aware it's already raining sideways, but it's already Please, past Please, stop all that worrying, dear. You're going to cause stress wrinkles. No, you don't understand. Tonight is very important for me, and, and everything must go according to plan. Just then. Walks Jesse Ritz, an American actress from New York City. Jesse has that big city charm that everyone adores. She's the kind of girl who can make people swoon just by flashing her smile. From the way she walks to the way she talks, she's the idealized version of the American woman. Jesse, darling, we're so glad you could make it. You look Simply ravishing. I, I hope the weather didn't treat you too adversely. Boy, it's really coming down out there. They told me it was always raining in London, but I didn't know it was this bad. I could hardly see a thing on the road. Lucky for me, I was riding with the best driver I know. Boy, it is really coming down out there. Cedric, this is Robert Cunningham, my boyfriend. What the hell are you doing here? Oh! 
You two know each other? Oh, we know of each other mostly. We attended the same university. Yes. Yes, that's <laughs> that's right. Barely brushed shoulders in the halls a few times. <laughs> Quite a home you've got here. Yes, well, I built it myself. Ahem. This is my wife, Roseanne. <laughs> well, uh, aren't you a handsome devil? <laughs> <laughs> we have more guests arriving, but please make yourself at home. Sir, I've received a phone call. All right, we've arrived at the first crossroads in our story. Now, the person on the other line had some news for Samuel. Was it tragic or comedic? Oh, hold up those programs to vote. Don't be shy. This requires full audience participation. All right, let me see here. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm hmm C, T, C, T, 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 D, C, 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 D, 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 D,